Alright guys, so here I have a clip of Yeet from the popping music video. And the first thing we need to do is rotor brush out our object or characters. So here I'm just going to cut out Yeet. So yeah, I'm just gonna press Control Shift D. I'm going to select this layer here, right click, press pre-compose, and here we can call it like roto layer, I don't know, and move all attributes into new composition, press OK. And now let's double press on this layer. And here we double press again. And here we need to take the roto brush tool, make sure it's this, and then you just need to roto brush. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to roll brush so if you don't have to roll brush then make sure to do it but simply you just need to draw around your character and then you need to just correct the rotor brush and then you have to do it for every single frame when you rotor brush like one frame for example this doesn't need to be a good rotor brush by the way because this is a disintegration effect so now like you need to press control and go to the right of the right arrow key and then just check if everything is rotor brush well and if something is not rotor brush well you just need to fix that frame and then keep going and I'll be back when I'm done rotor brushing all right so now I'm done rotor brushing and when you finish auto brushing make sure to press on the freeze button and then just wait a couple of seconds i guess uh so you can edit the clip and then go to composition roto or i i renamed it so whatever you called it and now you need to press ctrl d to duplicate it and here you need to go to con effects and controls and here you need to invert the foreground background layer but to do that you actually need to un freeze your layer. All right. And now we can press invert. And now let's go back. And now we need to freeze again. All right. Now let's go back to composition roto. And here we will have this layer and we can actually rename it to like something like BG that stands for background. And this clip of the uh, yeet or your object, I guess we can rename this to character, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. And now let's take both of these clips, press control C while holding both of them, press control V here again. And yeah, we can turn off the background like that. And this background here as well. Now we can go wherever you want to start to do the disintegration. Actually, I'm going to turn on the background. And here you need to right click on their character, uh, go to pre compose, and here call it like roto brushed, and press move all attributes into new composition. And then we need to add card dance. Oh, this is an effect here you need to make the rose tool kind of high to like a bit over like 100 or even 200 or even more depends on what you want the more you make it the more pixelated it is so i'm gonna make it to like 150 and also the columns make it to like 150 as well i guess and now you need to go to gradient layer and you can select the roto brushed layer that we just made like this one or you can select the background layer whatever you just need to select something here and now we need to go to z position and this is the most important part you need to select something out of here so a lot of people like the intensity one i do like this a lot but i'm going to choose this time intensity h slope one i think this is a bit better at the start you want to make the multiplier to zero and just keyframe it like this and now go to the ending and here you can make it like very high depends on what you want like 14.7 i guess that's kind of how you can make it to like 10 whatever basically and you can press u to see all of your keyframes and we can make this go a bit further and that's already looking kind of cool like just like that i kind of like to do some graphs here so like i like to select both these keyframes plus f9 and go to the graph editor and i kind of like to start it a bit slow i think that's that looks a bit cooler you can sometimes even do it like it starts very fast like that that is also very cool but i like to do this here i like to make it a bit cooler by adding some more effects so i actually like to add mosaic and here i like to make the horizontal blocks at the start to 1000 uh vertical box to 1000 keeping both of them and go to the ending and here i like to make them like 100 and this one 100 as well yeah let's uh let's bring them to the ending like this so now it's going to like get more pixelated i guess and another effect i like to add here is deep glow now this is very much not needed if you don't want it and i like to make the exposure to zero at the start and go to the ending and at the ending i like to make it to one but you need to press u again make it go further uh, select both of the keyframes that you have press f9 go to the graph editor and make the graph something like this like very very sharp like that and now it's going to have like glow at the ending it looks very very cool but now as you can see there's something missing and yeah the background is still dark like that so you kind of want the background to be normal so if you want the background to be normal you need to go to the start of your disintegration press b to bring this uh, right here go to the ending right here press n now we have basically locked it now and what you need to do now is turn off the roto burst layer and only leave the bg layer and now you need to go to content never fill and here you can like change the alpha expansion or not i'm just gonna have it at zero and i'll press generate 
fill layer. Now this should appear like this fill. And as you can see, he's kind of invisible. So now we need to place it below the BG layer and turn back on the Rotoburst layer. And that's how it will look now. I would also like to let you know that I have my own video editing website, which is called povikas.com. There I just sell video editing assets such as presets or overlay packs. So I would really recommend to check it out. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.